Hello, welcome back to Goosebumps Horror Town. This is part one to Return to Horror Land. I am not a robot. But uh, humors aside, and failed to attempt anyways, let's go ahead and uh, do our usual thing. But uh, first of all, can we appreciate this artwork that was done? Let's just take a look at this without the logo. Yeah, there you go. Looks a lot better, doesn't it? Indeed. I should also mention, just like how with Halloween's before, it, um, unfortunately we didn't get the Return of Whole Land logo. Instead, it was just the Goosebumps Whole Land logo instead. So, uh, yeah, um, I'm glad that I actually got the actual proper stuff because, uh, yeah, you know, and it seems weird that we have to kind of place it down there, but I guess that's just so it's not blocking anything, but eh, whatever, it's it's what it is. Um, so let's talk about some of the stuff that came through this game, and uh, also talk about some things uh, interesting with when it comes to the channel. So first things first, um, we got a post basically talking about this update being a bit of a glitchy mess, and you'll see in this part one a little bit of that. Part 2 as well, and Part 3 they'll probably got to fix up and running, you know, a few days and whatnot. But hey, that's the nature of this game, especially since it's a new team, so, you know, hopefully next one won't be as glitchy as it was before. But, uh, eventually we did get a message back saying that, hey, everything's good and ready to go, except for Amazon. Amazon is probably the worst when it comes to these app updates. And uh, Snoopy had the same problems, but uh, hopefully they're able to play the game eventually. But, you know, they are at the nature of Amazon, which is just, a, a, you know, really bad in that case. But anyways, besides that, we finally get a post basically advertising about the update of Horrorland coming back. And we get to see that more. If you want to know more information about that, go to part one, or part zero, I should say and uh, learn from there. But uh, before uh, anything else, uh, the NAP update, or icon I should say, was this. So they've started to change these now. So now it's not like with Slappy and whatnot. So now we're actually getting different characters and whatnot. So this one's the Horror Land. Horror, well, it looks like a classic one from the past. So it seems like they're interested that they're kind of changing it up slightly. But I digress. But anyways, I should say that I made a milestone recently since the last time we've seen each other. And that is that I've recently reached to a thousand subscribers. Hooray! Yes, a thousand subscribers. So isn't that fun? But um, that also comes, well, I mean at this point I'm like at 150. So, or no, one, you know, a thousand five fifty. You know, zero, one zero five zero. Does that make sense? Okay, yeah. So, yeah, and it's still growing. It seems like ever since I went to the thousands, it's slowly starting to pick up, and I guess YouTube is starting to promote me now, which is nice. But, you know, I'll, I'll let whatever comes naturally, which is to say. So if you're new to this, thanks and welcome. Hope you enjoy what I have in store for you. But I digress. Anywho, that also comes with some new things. So because this video is a little bit lengthy in as far as less than an hour or so, I'm going to be putting an ad in just once and uh, see how that goes about and uh, work from there. But uh, moving forward, this is going to be a thing where anything that's more than 30 minutes, I'll put a mid-roll ad, fade in and fade out. And then if anything's longer than an hour, which I tend not to do, but th sometimes it happens, then there will be two mid-rolls. That's just the way it goes. And to try to spread them out so it's not too inconvenient for everybody. But I digress. Anyways, let's dive into the gameplay to see how I react to things. This is taking place back in September the 5th. And we're going to go slowly to each update and see my, my method of what I was thinking and hoping what was coming up. So let's dive in. Welcome to Horrorland. <laughs> yes, part one to this beginning. It's in September, actually. And by the time you hear this video, you most likely know that they've already announced this stuff. So this is part one. And uh, I can't wait to see exactly what they're going to expect. And it's going to be a very heavily Horrorland themed. So I can't wait for the all the items to come in. Uh, while I'm at it, I finally have enough for this. Goodbye, money. It was nice knowing you. But, I also unlocked some land here. Namely, stuff with, uh, the cash. So we got that going on. So yeah, this is gonna be 
long and boring just to get stuff unlocked. And then if you're curious, I've decided to put the slappy thing over here for now. So, yeah. So the update has not hit because, again, this is in September. And it's probably not going to be for a little while. I'll probably try to come in every now and then. Maybe during this time just to kind of take my thoughts and what might come on. But I assume that I'll come back eventually once the update finally hits. But until then, yeah, <laughs> I'm excited. I can't wait to see how they're going to handle this one because um, I, I know some things. And uh, by God, by golly, <laughs> I am only anticipating how everything's going to look. So I'm recording this. Apparently there's been rumors. And I know the update hasn't hit yet and the polls hasn't been done. Like, you know, the tease hasn't been posted yet, mind you. But I'm making this video because the last yesterday, there was news that basically said that they're actually starting to film the new TV series in, the, uh, in October. And it's going to be in Vancouver because, you know, Canada is cheap and you can pretty much get all the locations you want. In, in Canada, you know, besides deserts and whatnot, but, you know, pfft, who, who wants that? But um, I, I digress. So it seems like they're going to go under a different name because usually when it comes to films and secret projects, they end up doing that because, you know, it makes them so like, oh, they're not paying a lot more, you know. So that's rumors. And apparently it will be done in the beginning of next year. So that means it's going to be premiering next year Halloween, not this year Halloween. And you would think that they would have done something by now, but no, they didn't. So, you know, they had a synopsis, which means that they would have told us that they've already done something about it. But I guess not. I, I guess they haven't. I guess they just revealed, oh, yes, the it's coming to Disney Plus and that's it. So... Some progression is coming, so hopefully with this new series coming out, this will mean some, with the game still kind of being relevant and we still get updates, even if they're small and minor. Hopefully this won't be the end, <laughs> like like uh, like what happened in 2021, let's, let's not talk about that, but um, yeah, I'm hoping that for the best. Also, sorry about the sound, I, I forgot I didn't have sound on here, and I think partially the reason why is because uh, I was I was recording the introduction part, which is the Halloween special video, I think is what I called it, and I forgot to turn the sound back on. So, uh, yeah. Oops. So by the time this video comes out, uh, this part, anyways, the teaser has finally been revealed, so now everyone knows Horror Town has come out, or is coming, Horror Land, I should say, is coming, and uh, I already posted my video, so that's out and about, and um, yeah, that's basically it, but you might be wondering, why am I focusing myself on uh, Fleshman here? Well, it's because I'm, I'm doing some things uh, back, just trying to get the backlog kind of going. And uh, I was talking to somebody and I just realized something. The squeezer's purpose is that they, they basically squeeze the insides out and then use your skin as like as their skin. And so I always looked at Fleshman as he's just wearing a human costume. But if you really like, go morbid, he probably just squished some poor guy. And he's using this guy's skin as, as his costume. I mean, if you really want to go morbid, you can look at it like that. Or you can just be like me and be a bliss and be like, ah, he's just wearing a, a, a costume, just like how, um, you know, um, Judge Doom did back in the Who Framed Roger Rabbit. Kind of looks like him, doesn't it? Slightly. So, it is a momentous occasion. I have reached, by this point, a thousand subscribers. And that also means you may have witnessed something in um, the videos as of late. And that is, I can now put ads, which means money, 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 money. <laughs> no, but um, yeah, uh, yeah. The seeing how because they've decided to put ads on my videos regardless, even when I wasn't having ads there, I feel like I have no choice but to put them on. But I, I've, I'm doing it in a way so they're not intrusive. And um, if these videos are longer than an hour or so, they'll be like one in the middle. But I will have a fade in, fade out. So hopefully it won't be too bad. But again, this is a trial error type thing. 
I don't want to be intrusive because I'm a guy who doesn't like ads either, so... Yeah. I'll make it work. Don't worry. Well, it's October 1st, which means that spooky month has just begun. Ooh, spooky! <laughs> yeah, so my account has changed and all that stuff, and they recently post on their socials a tease of Slappy basically saying, Ah! Horrorland's coming back, but this time it's going to be spookier than ever. And people who went there the first time is going to fear what's coming up next. Oh, be scared. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing all the newer items for Horrorland, and hopefully they live up to the hype. <laughs> this is the Halloween stuff, baby. I'm looking forward to it. Do not disappoint me, man. I want to expand Horrorland. And not this weird side show attraction here. I want the full experience, man. Give us the special books, too. That'd be great. So, the day is the 7th of October. And um, needless to say, a few days ago, that be... Oh. <laughs> well, I guess, I guess what showed up again. Oh, nice, nice as you, Haunted Halloween. Hmm. I, I forgot. It's only weekends. Why are you back? I don't need you. Look, I got it already. Look, see? I already beat you. I don't need you no more. Go away. <laughs> right. So, anyways, uh, the real reason why I wanted to make the video was not because of that. No, the real reason was because back on Wednesday the 5th, yes, the 5th, um... Uh, the group got our first teaser of what's to come. I don't know if this was going to be shown off through the public. It looks like it's going to be, but not as percent sure. And it's basically the silhouette to Lizzie Morris. And uh, that looks interesting. I have no idea what she looks like. Uh, I made a suggestion, but it, clearly that's not what they're going to be doing. So... I mean, I don't know if it's going to be its own unique thing, if it's based off something, if they're using the model from the actual show, it may be, but it seems like they're going for a more teenage route, so it'll be interesting to see how she goes about. Now, what's interesting too is that because this is the return to Horrorland, we are also getting two other characters, but they're going to be more NPCs in a sense, so... I'm curious about those two, but more likely than not, they were described of what they're supposed to look like, so chances are they're going to look exactly like they have been described as, so they're like, ah, uh, uh, my Mango Strange looks exactly like um, that chick from X-Files, Th that kind of thing. So, yeah, we got that going on there. But, uh, yeah, I'm probably going to be updating when I get stuff going. Hopefully, they'll, they're will they suggesting they're supposed to tease more items. So, hopefully, we get to see more of it soon. And I get my input feedback during this time to make this video a little bit more interesting. But the one thing I will also say is that apparently, if things go right, next week, as I figured after my Thanksgiving, is the week that they're going to be updating this game for the Halloween event. Now, if everything goes to plan, I'm, I'm not 100% sure, but that's the hope. They ended up getting smoothly for Adams having their update in Tuesday, and then uh, Snoopy following right after. And then they also re-updated for Adams for Thursday for everything. So it seems like they're, they're right on time. So the chances of this coming in next week is high. But then again, I don't know. I'm not sure exactly what they have planned. So here's hoping it's good. And hopefully there's stuff that I can use after the event ends. Here's hoping, fingers crossed. But uh, I guess we'll have to wait and see now, won't we? Well, today is the October the 8th, which means we have to celebrate something. And fortunately, we have a big cake right here for us. Once it loads. Can you load, please? Why do you have to take so long? Come on, I, I had this whole stuff planned out, and yet you, you're, you're screwing me. Thank you. Okay, there you go. Right, so now let's just put... 79. All right, 79. Happy birthday, Arlstein. You're 79 years old. 
damn, that's old. 80, almost 80 years old. And you, you know, out of retirement. He's still doing books and stuff right now. Yeah, he's getting up there, man. But hey, he's still kicking. And uh, still going to be reading. So, you know, hope you have a good birthday. And uh, thank you for giving me a job. <laughs> uh, I can't wait for Horrorland. Hopefully it comes in Friday. Well, it's another day, and um, <clears throat> what I found interesting was they decided to do another teaser tonight, and uh, or today, and what I thought was interesting with this teaser that they showed off was it's supposed to be, I think, one of the spawn monsters, and a lot of people are probably wondering what it is exactly. What was this picture here? Um, if I do show it, if not, I'm just describing it. But the rough of it is basically it looked like a four-armed creature, uh, a lot of people, or some people were saying, kind of reminded them that one character from Mortal Kombat, which I do, I, I do see where they're coming from. For me, though, it, it looks like Slam Bam from uh, Skylanders. It, yeah, I know, very obscure uh, character to kind of make a reference to, but you know what, that's as close as what it looks like body type wise. And people might be wondering who, what is that thing, right? And they're like, when they teased it, they're like, oh. Uh, here's the monster. I guess you probably know what book we're basing this off of now. And a lot of people are probably like, what? no, no, what? who? <laughs> Who's that? <laughs> I don't know who that is. The silhouette doesn't give you a good hint. So let me go ahead and tell you what it is. So in the original book, um, One Day at Horrorland, the Morrises end up finding out that the park was basically the, the you know, Eye on Horrorland or something like that. Uh, game show. And one of the things they had to do was, like, one of the competitions or things is to run away from the monsters. And they kind of described some of the monsters. One of them was a monster with a four arms. That's literally what that is. It's, it's this is a one throwaway line. That's what they're basing this thing off of. And then there's another monster that's like a three-headed vulture, which um, is also making an appearance. So, yeah, the very obscure. So you can tell the CM who was doing this was really trying to base this from the books, like being as faithful to it as possible, which I do, I like. I like when they try to be faithful to the books. But at the same time, they have to incorporate it with the game as well. So I don't know. I'm, I'm going to have to wait and see. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. So especially next month, or not next month, the next update coming up, I'm... Really intrigued to see how they're going to pull this one off because the story we picked at the end of the day was chosen by you with the community. And uh, so that's going to be the one that uh, that they're going to be working on. And we've already thrown out ideas to them of what it, what we think could work. But it depends on what they decide to do at the end of the day because, you know, we did suggestions of what monsters and whatnot you could put for this update. And uh, they decided to go somewhere else. So just saying. However, some of the items that we suggested apparently will be making their appearance here. So at least we have the knowledge of knowing that we have some ideas in there. But uh, yeah, so uh, now I'm intrigued to see how the spawn scene's supposed to look and everything about that. So yeah, I guess uh, I'll, I'll come back in again once I know what's what exactly is going on here. So yeah. Also, by the way, how close am I to finish this? I just need one more ring. Okay, but let me do that right now before I forget. Yeah, so there is that. So now we got it. All right. Mm. That's it for now. Also, why why is the tree going on top of the thing? That that's bad. Uh, you know, placement here. Can I can I fix this, please? Uh, what? Oh, God, the layering sometimes is just so bad. Alright, I guess I'll return sometime later, after these stop fighting with one another. So we just got our final teaser. I would, I'm going to say it's my final teaser because uh, they announced it's probably going to be, they're aiming for Friday. Um, so just in context, today is the day after Thanksgiving for me, so that is Tuesday the 11th, I think. I, yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know my, my time, so sorry about that. But yeah, uh, this is hilarious uh, because the item in question they were showing off was uh, the archway. The iconic archway that was shown in the Goosebumps, uh, Enter Goosebumps, or 
yeah, Enter Goosebumps Horrorland site, as well as the Revenge of the Living Dummy. You know, that archway. So they actually recreated it, like the, the iconic archway. And uh, by, by God, it is it stanky? <laughs> I, I can't explain it, but after looking at it, it looks like a deformed dinosaur. <laughs> like they tried their okay they tried their best it you you look at it and you know exactly what they're going for it but my my god my goodness <laughs> oh boy uh it's it's um how, how do i put this it's the level of quality <laughs> it's like you know good old um uh drool here <laughs> they try oh they tried they tried but um yeah so um when you get to see it yourself in the game you'll see what i mean but uh i'm looking forward uh so it's it's definitely horrorland this time so yeah i'm looking forward to this who boy i just realized something this was a thought i just had today and that is the monster we got shown the four-armed monster. I knew the you know the content director wanted to use the monsters that were briefly mentioned in the books, and he was kind of disappointed with the strange. By he was hoping that they would actually be horrors or monsters themselves. Unfortunately, they were just people who just worked with the horrors and just got money from it. So he was disappointed with that. So I wonder. Is the monsters we see there, or one of the monsters we see there, is that actually one of the strange? I'm thinking the male one. I, I'm trying to remember what his name was. But th this was a thought I thought about because, you know, it's the forearm one and then the vulture. And I think the vulture would be good for um, the female one. God, I have to see what their names are. I can't think of it on the top of my head. But it, it, it's just a thought that came up to me right now. And it would be interesting if that was the case, because if it was, then that would be very creative to kind of bring those characters in without really having them be walk-arounds, you know? But that's just me. I digress. So anyways, um, yeah. So either we're going to get the update to tomorrow, Friday, real quick, or they're going to try to drop it on Monday or by the latest that week at least I, i'm figuring it's probably the latter honestly and the reason i say that is because um they've been having difficulties because of uh uh chuan's um departure back in october if you don't know who that is he's the adams creator but he's also did other stuff as well in the behind the scenes so with him gone thomas now has to work on his stuff until he can get a replacement so really there's a whole lot of stuff going on so that's partially why then they don't want to screw this up so yeah it's we're not like at this point i'm not disappointed that like the last two updates we've had has always been delayed so more likely it will be coming up very soon so either tomorrow or by sure next week at least. And we should get it for a full month or so. So that means it will lead into November. So yeah, we'll still get it for Halloween. And hopefully we get Christmas for Christmas. But I don't know. We'll see what happens. Yeah, it's Friday now and the update hasn't hit. It seems like every time I do these like um, introduction updates, it's always like a month after I made the announcement. So like the 17th, I, I released it on the 17th and sure enough, it's coming close to the 17th and it just so happens that the 17th is going to be my anniversary once I got the community tab open. So I've, you know, it's been a year since I've used it, which is cool. But yeah, most likely next week, definitely we're going to get it. And I feel like what's going to happen is that unlike the update hitting and it's like, oh, there's like one day stall period before anything happens and then we continue on. I don't feel like that's going to be the case. I feel like what's going to happen is that it's going to be update goes up live, people download it, and then within a few hours, an uh, event goes live as well. I feel like that's what they're going to be doing because of how much delayed this has gotten. And the reason it's been delayed, like I probably mentioned this before, if not, I'll redo it again. Uh, content director from um, the 
um, other game Adams left in October for a new gig. Uh, uh, Snoopy's been having difficulties with the Amazon stuff, and it's only until now that they finally approved it. So, you know, there's a whole bunch of stuff going on. And then there's also the secret project that's working on the side, but it's been kind of difficult because they don't got an IP for it, and I've learned other stuff with it, but that's going to be its own thing. But, yeah, uh, that's going to be it for now. So, by the time... Um, you know what? I think we've we've made a little bit more content now, so... Uh, seeing how these part ones go, I'm going to uh, end this part off, and we're going to be fading into a commercial. I know this is going to be the first time I've done this this far for this type of main video. But the thing of the reason is, is because by the time the video comes back up, the event will be live. And, uh, you know, it's going to be a few seconds for you, but it's going to be a few days for me. So, uh, yeah, enjoy this break, and by the time it comes back, uh, event will be live. Hopefully. Oh my god. Holy... Oh! Oh, what's this? The Horland's back? And... Oh, is that... Is that new music I hear? Oh! Oh, this makes me so happy. Horland's back, baby. Oh, man. I can't wait. I'm gonna have to record this off my aunt time, but... Yeah, music, finally. Wow. Wow. First time they actually done something like this, so I'm quite intrigued, but, uh... Yeah. Ooh, okay. There's some problems. Uh, so it looks like tickets are our main currency this time. So, uh... That's, uh... That's new. Anywho, yeah, um... I guess the event should be live soon. But, oh god. Yeah, um... Yeah, yeah. I'm, uh, God, I'm gonna have to record this off my off time, but, man, I'm happy. I'm glad this is here, finally. Horland's back, baby! Oh, before the event starts, by the way, which will probably be in a day or so, um, something else came up. If I were to go here, yeah. Uh, Return to Horrorland. So, that's probably the book's name. Now, I'm going to find out if there's going to be a, um, the, the title. If it's, if it's kind of like what happened last Halloween where, um, what do you call it? The, um, you know, trick or trap that there was a title thing, but they didn't really put it in there. So I can try to fix that in. Or if it's going to be something that I'm going to have to make just like, uh, back at the other place. So... Although it's glitched now, I think everything's going to fix as soon as the event goes live and we'll get to see exactly what got added. And then, of course, everything will be back into Halloween decorations like before. If not, then I'll complain. And uh, looking at the thing, it seems like moving forward, the eight quest, the eight mini uh, quest line, so 16 dialogue exchange stuff, is going to be the norm, so what happened last event is going to be what we're going to be expecting moving forward. Which is unfortunate that it's going to be that small, but it's better than nothing, I guess, right? And hey, they did a lot of effort for this one because, you know, they gave us music, which they didn't have to do, but the fact that they did, yeah, it, it's like at one step and beyond. So... You know, the one thing I'll say is kudos to the designers or uh, music department team here. They ended up making a custom music that fits well with the game. But it's also a nod and actually sounds like Horrorland, if that makes sense. So, um, during this playlist, the um, Return to Horrorland, I believe is what's going to be called. And um, other thing as well, I will make sure to add music to it to the playlist so for those who wants to listen into Horrorland itself you can i kind of did this recently for the actual game itself because i noticed that the game soundtrack wasn't made available so i decided to do that i might do it for the other games too but i'm not too sure and of course just so you know i'm not going to make any ad revenue for that one because again it's not you know I'm, I'm adding anything new to it. It's just going to be the soundtrack because I figured 
you know, that that soundtrack is good enough that it needs to be out there for the public. So, you know, hopefully that's okay. I don't think they have a problem with that, but yeah, man, great music. So the event should be live pretty soon. So I listened to the music a little bit more, and um, I have to say kudos to the team for doing it. Um, like for, you know, this song in particular, like, first of all, it's a new thing that we never actually got a new song. I know I've, I've been used to Adams doing that, but not this game. Or any other game, to be honest. So it's nice to hear. But uh, I do want to point some stuff out. Um, it, it's very Horrorland theme, but I know you probably listened to some of it and being like, ah, yes, clown music. <laughs> yes, hmm, honk honk. <laughs> we live in a society. <laughs> oh god you know, this is because of some of the elements anyways but it kind of also reminds me of dk64 kinda and what i mean by that is like stuff like frantic factory kind of has the elements on there but it also is creepy and kind of like an epic kind of soundtrack if that makes sense i mean after all this is uh jonathan chiller as uh, as we all know he is a clown himself Oh, yeah. oh, you know what? I'm, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have said that. I don't mean to say Jonathan Teller is a clown. Yeah, I didn't mean I didn't mean you to be a clown, buddy. I'm sorry. That's an insult. You're not a clown. You're the entire circus. <laughs> oh, God. Can't wait to see this guy come back again and me do dialogue. But, um, yeah. Uh, mutant monster beast thing. Also, you know, Lizzie Morris is here. The Strange. Again, I'm curious of how this story is going to go. And it seems like we're going for the eight parts now. Which, you know, it's unfortunate. But I feel like that's going to be the norm now moving forward. So, you know. I wish it was longer, sure. But, hey, you know what? It's The fact that we're getting anything is a benefit. Because, you know, we would have not gotten this game at all. So... There's that. But yeah, anyways, um, it's the next day, kind of holding off. Hopefully, soon, today, maybe today, we might get the update, but probably not. So, Wednesday probably might be the day, but if we're lucky, we might get the update today. And if so, then I will be making commentary on it. But uh, I guess we'll know sooner or later, because the next clip will probably be me talking about the update going live, showing off what's there, and uh, exploring together what to expect. But yeah, um, learned some information as far as what's going to come up after the fact, but um, I'll go in more depth with that once that stuff kind of comes live. But yeah, anyways, that's, that's basically it for now, trying to extend some time. So the next update, uh, the next video is going to be, hopefully the live events, and then we can go from there. So yeah, Horrorland. You're back, baby! Okay, I know the update isn't live yet. I understand that. One thing I wanted to throw out here, though, is I looked at the terrain on the promenade, and I thought to myself, this kind of looks familiar. It kind of reminds me of... Is it? Is it the Be Afraid one? And I ended up looking, and yeah, it is. They're reusing the Be Afraid one. And hey, there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, they got assets, so why not reuse some of them, right? It makes sense to kind of just redo them. It makes, you know, stuff of that nature. And, uh, get early access to the Horrorland tickets, <laughs> I guess. But, um, yeah, so I, it seems like moving forward, they're going to be doing this type of stuff. I'm only hoping that they're able to, um... Like, whenever we do get... I won't... I'll hold that for the future. I won't say it now, because I was talking about maybe winter comes back, but... Uh, oh, God, somebody's here. All right. Uh, hopefully come soon-ish? Question mark? Well, the event is live. However, there is a... Um, a bit of a boo-boo that uh, we won't be able to officially start it just yet. And you'll see why. 
So let's see this for a sec. So, uh, there's the final leap, which is a... Thank you. It's a, an unique item. Interesting. It looks like a weird building. Not a camera bush. Funny. Kids screaming sign. Horror land statue. Funny that uh, I think that's supposed to be Jonathan Chiller and it has some stuff there. Monster blob. Weird. I guess that's supposed to be a horror that's melted. Horror land sign. No pinching. Traumatic Memotos costume. Spooky treat. Interesting. So then we got a bunch of stuff here. And then we got tickets and whatnot. And I guess there's another pack that we're going to see what that's all about. Ah, I love that. Return to Horrorland. So there is, there is actually, so I'm going to have to make one up then for them. Or unless they have it done already. Let's just see this here. Horrorland Carnival. Halloween at Horrorland. The Horrorland Carnival terrifies citizens on Halloween. And this time it has arrived to Horror Town. But don't worry, you're in luck because Lizzie Morris came to the city to reveal the atrocities of the Horrorland Carnival and finally put an end to it. Sounds cool. Ah, oh, so that's what she looks like. Look at that. There she is. Four weeks, four days. Interesting. So that's going to give us a little bit of a while. So that's more than 28 days. So we're looking at near the end of November. All right. Okay. Sounds good. All right. So let's see this. All right. Say it with me now. <laughs> play animation, craft new item, play new scene. Now, craft a new item looks new, but... Um, Play new animations and scene that uh, uh, what happened here that uh, that's old that's um mm, uh that that's uh oh dear all right maybe we got this here so we got the Horland Gate the Bat Barn oh boy the Bat Barn I can't wait Monster Food Store interesting we got the Vulture Beach. <laughs> we got Horrorland sign or horror horror stand in, and we got the Stagger Inn, which, by the way, we can actually get her for free fifty. And uh, interesting that she actually comes with the Stagger Inn, which is uh, which I expected. So it'll be interesting to find out. So I guess as far as getting items here goes, there's not a whole lot. It seems like it's going to be in packs to get most of the stuff. Hmm. All right. So the final prize for this update is. Um, what is that? I, I, I don't know. It's, it's something. It's a building. Hmm. I guess we'll find out once we unlock it, aren't we? A uh, two twenty skit. Wow. Look at this. Look how pathetic that is. Oh, wow. Oh, boy. This is making me excited to play this uh, update. Oh, God. So, Horrorland plushie. You need to craft this item at the Horror Big Top Doom Slide. Oh, so that's what that was. Interesting. Spooky treats. We got the Traumatic Mentos costume. All right, so we got that. And then, of course, we got... Monster Blobs, which seems like it's our normal currency to get. So, we have crafting stuff. Now, as you probably mentioned, or as you probably noticed, uh, oh, oh, uh, there's, there's a boo-boo. The, uh, the, the stuff hasn't arrived yet, unfortunately. So, uh, oops. So that's a big mistake. As you notice too, everyone's now decored for Halloween, which is not well, actually I should mention apparently not everybody. Although there were costumes for people, but I guess not anymore. So we got, you know, some stuff here. So the question is too that I wanted to notice. Oh, they finally put a, a costume skin for uh for Walter, but 
Quinn, they don't want to celebrate. Actually, hold on, do they? Yeah, they did. They just don't put lights on for some reason. All right, well, I'm just looking. Yeah, so some, some characters don't bother with Halloween. But, okay, so this is weird. Some costume, like, here's the thing. Some, like, you know, Mr. Wood has a costume, but yet we don't see that. So that's that's weird. You know, I, I don't know what's going on there. Again, I'm questioning their skills as far as who decided to put Halloween costumes up. Because I did see that they had Halloween decorations, but for some reason they just don't bother. So that's that's very strange. I don't know why. Very strange indeed. <laughs> I'm I'm just I'm just dumbfounded by this. But again, you know, this is single team that did this so it's nice that the game's finally updated now but uh you know it's gonna be a little while before we can do anything and of course uh gordon doesn't want to celebrate anything because uh he hates the holiday apparently which is actually pretty um different because gordon actually has something interesting this for apparently what i've learned he actually has something new which is uh you know uh surprising but uh yeah, anyways, uh, we'll look at some stuff before we do anything, but I just wanted to look more with the stuff in question. Oh, so yeah, so now this guy drops this, which is nice. Okay, cool. And uh, of course, as I suspected, the new characters do not have any Halloween decorations up, unfortunately. Which is unfortunate, which you would think that they would, but, uh, you know, I mean, these guys, I don't expect them to. <laughs> Alright, well, and again, like, this guy had a Halloween decoration, but yet nothing. Uh, th that's strange. You know, again, there, are, like, again, and then he had a Halloween decoration, but that's not up. So, I don't know what's going on there. You know, it's like everyone had Halloween decorations, but now that's just like people, some people decide to do it and others don't. Like, again, this, it just surprises me that there's some characters that don't even bother, apparently. Actually, where did hamsters, oh yeah, it's right there. Oh, God. You know. I guess I'm not too bothered by the fact that not everybody has a decoration out for Halloween. But I am kind of bothered by it, if that makes sense. Because, you know, we had this whole thing where it's like, oh, everyone has some sort of costume stuff going on. But no, not this year. I guess it, Curly doesn't even have anything going on. Like, what what is going on here? Oh, dear. I guess I'm going to complain. Some people just didn't want to celebrate the holidays, apparently. Oh, dear. All right, so again, this obscuring stuff looking around. So I guess let's see if they fix the book by chance because um, it's possible, but I don't know exactly what they got going on. So again, it's I don't know how to react. I mean, some of it's like I'm kind of excited to see the items and whatnot they introduce, but then other times I'm just like, ah. Uh, <laughs> Um, you know, so let's see this. So just a curiosity, is there anything? No, there's nothing. Of course, there's nothing. Absolutely nothing. Interesting. Great. It's still broken, by the way. Oh, God. All right. So it's just a bunch of stuff here and it's just, you know, Oh, dear. I guess this is going to be a little while. I mean, at least they gave us a few weeks, so that's good, because uh, it's going to be a little while for them to fix everything. That's for sure. Decorations and all. You know, but... Um, you know, and then, here's the other thing, too. My boy here, he had Halloween decorations up for some reason, but now he doesn't. Again, what is this? Did, did people just not want to bother this year? Or, like, wh what's going on? I guess... I guess not. <sighs> that sucks. Anyways. 
Yeah, I figured you don't have anything, but, you know, you always want to make sure, right? You just want to double check. Anyways. So we just got the two packs here. So the Horror Lamp Wonder Pack and the Horror Attractions Pack. So let's just see this thing here. So this has Playpen. The uh, That's an interesting take on the Playpen. House of Mirrors, which is... I guess it would be interesting to look at. And then we got some stuff here. Candy Teeth. Oh, that reminds me from uh, last year. <laughs> the uh, unsweet holidays for the Adams. But it's completely different. But it's interesting. <laughs> Fried Fingers. Oh, boy. The Welcome to Horrorland t-shirt, of course. And then you got a bunch of stuff there. Hmm. All right. So, uh a bunch of stuff, but at the same time, I'm kind of, like, uh, a bit baffled by this. Oh, right, and then, you know, she has celebrations of stuff. And, you know, Carly Beth, the, the girl who likes Halloween herself, no, no decorations, but I think she never had any decorations to begin with. So, you know, it's just strange, the, um, the things here. But yeah, as uh, the big problem is, uh, uh oh, there's no things here to do. So, and oh yeah, see, and then we got the cake golem here. But unfortunately, because um, this is here, um, that's the problem. So once we don't have that, then we can get it, <laughs> right? So that's that's the thing. But I want to see if there's anything else I got added to this update here. It does not look like it did. No. So let's just see. Oh, yeah, I see you, Lizzie. Don't worry. So let's make sure that any character. No. How about monsters? No. Uh, I love the fact that Dawes has his Halloween decorations up, but you know, again, some characters do and some don't. <sighs> All right. So I should mention this. So you see how. Crosby's house always like so it's supposed to be flipped the other way but for some reason for Halloween they flip it the opposite way I feel like because they want to show off the skull on the sign that's my my guess and because they keep on doing this guess what that also means happening over here let me show you once we load this up yeah oh look at that it's it's now flipped the other way like it's supposed so i'm gonna to have to keep on doing this every time they switch the halloween decorations so it's cool that he has the halloween decorations but it's always annoying that's always like ah, oh, well okay time to flip it because you know the game likes to set up some weird way like that but okay yeah so and it seems like this is the same kind of colors from last the last update i think yeah, it is, so... Not too bad, I guess, but... You know... I thought it would be new... I guess, you know, they're trying to save as much as they can for was what they can offer and what they can do, so... I'm not too bummed by that, but, you know, then we have... So, we have a bunch of stuff here. So, again, some of these items, like, you know, they're like, oh, not a kid screaming and not a camera bush. Um... I don't see them anywhere in the thing, as far as I know, unless I'm mistaken. Let's see. Yeah, we got the monster food stuff. I saw that. Just want to see if there's anything else that may not have been appearing so far. Oh, interesting. So they actually brought that to the Coral Streams of Christmas and the glass freezer. So you can actually get this. I'm not sure how much for, but... Um, I guess with that in mind, I guess what I'll do is I'll show off from the other game what exactly this has to offer. So, you know, um, I guess I'll set it here and I have a clip with them with myself talking about it. So I've jumped right back in just to show you that Eric Affaby is worth a uh, hundred bucks, which is oof. Uh, Susie's back again, but this time she's worth the price she was originally, which was five hundred thousand dollars or whatnot. But uh, it's okay. Um, this, the 
Captain's prize from the book is worth about 50, so again, kind of like a meh, but you know, gives you a good idea with some of the stuff here. What's interesting too is that uh, apparently the candy thing is available for 650,000, so there's that. And of course, the past one that drops us to snow gives us a thousand, and also the Christmas tree is 50. So, anyways, back to the game. Yeah, there's there. Oh dear. I just woken up, by the way, so, you know. Yeah, I still remember the ghost train from three years ago. That was something. So, let's see this. I don't think there's anything else besides that one monster gate. So, we have the gate, but I'm trying to think how to close it off now, because, you know, we need, we need some sort of gate to go around it, right? So, I guess I have to think about that. Yeah, so it doesn't look like there's anything else except for, like, the gate. And I think that's it. So a lot of these items are just single uses, so... Ooh. I wonder how long it's going to do to take to buy everything, because it feels like after this, this is pretty much done. Now, there is supposed to be mini-events, so I guess that will keep us busy for getting stuff done. But I, I, I guess that solves somewhat of a problem, so... You know, it could be worse. So let's see, is there anything new? Thanks, game. Uh, thanks. Oh, I love when my my phones decide to do that. That's so great. No, it doesn't seem like it. Yeah, so we got some scare stuff like the bat. Oh my, the, the best, the best one, the bat barn. I still joke about that, but you know. Okay, so we got Ghostly Partners, so that's that's something you can get now. That seems interesting. So we got some, you know. Okay. And then, of course, I have that stuff in there because I don't know what to do with them. I might change it, though, but yeah. Anywho, I think I'm pretty much exhausted as much as I can. So we got some characters here. So we got the three, not the four. Main ones, of course. And I'm just going to see if there's any other characters. I think there is. Yeah, Theo actually has something. So that's interesting because she's a... She's, you know, they're a clown. Then we got Sarah, which she has something to do. But um, I'm surprised she's not available to be bought. Because last time, uh, when when uh, they used, you know who, um, his, her brother... Back in Trick or Trap, they actually had the availabilities to get him for a certain point, but no. And uh, there's also two other errors for this update that they have to fix. First of all, mixing pheromones um, gives you an item that we don't need, and it's the only exclusive item for some reason. And um, our homeboy, Eric Affaby, you know, the guy who, you know, whole, whole purpose to come into the game. Right, this guy. He doesn't have anything. So, uh, oops. Yeah, so, and I don't think you can actually get Eric Affaby anymore. So I think, yeah, I th yeah, so he's, okay, yeah, because he's not a hero. And I don't think he's a monster either, so I don't think, yeah, he's not here. Wow, okay. So, um, if you missed out on the anniversary event, then, uh, well... Tough cookies for you. You don't get the creator himself, which I guess makes sense. So, I guess that's the limitation there. And I guess just to make sure, yeah, I figured you don't have anything because, you know, last year and all that type of stuff, as you figured. I'll look at what the other characters can do, you know, while we do this. And um, craft some stuff at the same time. Yeah, so they have a lot of stuff that they need to work on. Hopefully the patch can... Like, the patch is supposed to fix some of the errors. But I think, like, they have they may have missed some stuff or overlooked on some things. So, you know, again, I'll complain. See if they can change the decorations again. Or if this was a purpose that they had nothing there. The Sarah Quinn stuff and the book's problem. And, uh, you know, there's just still some stuff to work for. All right, all right, I guess I talked on long enough, so um, I guess let's just see what the event has in store and see what we can do, and then look at the other characters. Oh, yeah, by the way, 
you know, for a guy who came from last year, that, that like, you know, part of Horrorland is not part of here, but... Ah, uh, I digress. Alright, Curly, let's see what happens. Halloween at Horrorland! Oh, I'm sorry, it's supposed to be Slappy. Um, where's Curly? Why are you here? The holiday season. But we still have a couple of weeks until Thanksgiving. Not unless you live in Canada. That's already passed. Yeah, you of all people should know that. Yeah, I love that. So place the Horrorland Gate, obtain monster blobs. Oh, I'm sorry, place three? Three gates? Why? Why do I need three gates? Isn't one enough? When well, we need three gates to open... Why? I get place one gate down, but three? Why? You don't need three gates. You need the one gate. One way in. That's it. No, no way out. That's the point. Uh, okay, so he has the best way to have fun. That's his anime. That's his quest. My own carnival food. Eight hours. Wow, the candy teeth. So that's something. All right, so I guess that's an animation for him to go inside his little hidey hole. Oh, okay. So that's that's the only character who can do that. That's cool. Cool beans. Cool beans. Just to make sure, he's just going to his little hidey hole. So that means he's just going to go into his... And by the way, I want to I wanna appreciate this. I think I mentioned this many times before. But I love how Mortman was like, There'll be no Halloween decorations. And, uh, look at him now. He, uh, he changed his mind when 2020 came around. I guess, you know, he had the time to reflect. Alright, let's see what the other character can do. Alright, so... Okay. Ah, not again. You need the bat bar and... Oh, what's this? You need a character as well? A double animation? Interesting. This is the first time I actually see somebody actually being partnered. This was something that he wanted to talk about doing for a while, but they never did it. So, is this going to be the time that they finally got like a double animation thing going on here? Interesting. Hmm. Anyways, uh, get ready for the fair is her thing we can do for now. Carnival head for eight hours. Oh my god, this is really taking some time, isn't it? Oh dear. Oh, okay, cool. So get out, get out, vultures. So basically we need... Okay, so we basically need a lot of these people. Take a picture. For, um, you know, for her as well. So, you know, interesting. So I want to see some of this stuff here. Get ready for the fair it gives us the horror. Okay, so at least I can do that to give us some coins, I guess. So that's something. I still can't, I still can't get over the clown music. Eight tickets, by the way. So, you know, that's just makes it even better. Best way to have fun, Horrorland t-shirts. Oh, that's the only thing, you get to, you just get to do that. So, uh, uh, over there you go, I guess. And that's it, except for if you happen to have Sarah Quinn. Oh, actually, no, Theo. Theo actually has something new, interesting. And this is something I've found out through the forums. Flying balloons for five hours. And you might be thinking, ah, flying balloons. Well, let me show you. Oh, no! Thank you. I wanted to zoom in. Look at this. Yes, I see him. Thank you. <laughs> Look at that. Now, that's creepy. You know what this reminds me of? This reminds me of a scene from uh, It Chapter 2. I think it's It Chapter 2 where, you know, he was with the red balloons and he was just floating there. I think that's probably what they got the inspiration from because that is creepy. I love that. At least, I love the fact that they at least attached him into this update, so that's kind of cool. So I will appreciate that very much so. 
but there you go. The creepy, creepy guy. Alright, that's fun. Alright, so I guess the only other person who can do stuff for now is Sheriff Quinn, because the other one is actually somewhat different. So, seek, seeking money for the fair. So she's apparently coming to... to. Alright, so... I guess that's something. And I guess that's it. Because I don't think there's anything else that anyone can do for now. No. That's it. Huh. Very underwhelming, for, uh, uh, in my opinion, for some things. But, um, you know, it's what it is. Again, we got this stuff here. Why? This needs to get away. This needs to go away. This this right here. What's going on there? Why is that there? Is this here? Yes, it's still here. Oh my god. So there's a lot of stuff they need to fix and get stuff out. Stuff that they overlooked because, again, this is just stuff they have to fix along the way. <sighs> Once they get this stuff going, then I think it will be fine. But... Oh, God. And, um, yeah, this is expect moving forward. I think you know, events are like this is going to be small. So, you know, but still, it's just like, ah, uh, ah, uh, right. Okay, well, they did put some effort into some things, but others is just like, you know. All right, so, yeah, so it's going to be a little while for this, at least. Which I guess that's, that's the purpose, right? They want to make sure they can get this as long as possible for some of this stuff. Yeah, so it's not too much, but I guess that's the point. They want to make it, well, like, to make it so it's not too breaking already. Yeah, so I just see that. So it is the Doom slide, but it's... Okay, interesting. I guess we'll have to see it once the update patch comes in, but uh, I guess... that's that's about it. There's not much else to talk about as far as this stuff goes, really. I mean, that, yeah. Uh, so I guess first impressions. I'm, uh, I'm excited for it, but I'm also kind of, uh, slightly, uh, <laughs> what's the word? Uh, not disappointed or underwhelmed, I guess is another word for, I don't think, I don't know. This, this is certainly, uh, gave me a surprise, that's for sure. You know what this is? This is exactly like horror, horror town or horror land because horror land is supposed to be like this big fair and stuff like that. But then you realized, oh, wait, no, it's filled with crappy stuff instead. So, yeah, um, this probably won't be the end because I want to see the actual in game stuff here first. So, you're probably going to see that, like, the end clip is going to be basically once the update hits for the promenade to show you that off properly so check that out and then we'll continue from there so yeah uh so i guess i'll see you in a few days or so i don't know maybe the next day well the updates finally hit and uh, i see the colors have changed in the background here so let me just see this yeah okay so it has changed play new animation play new scene and we get the cute, uh, the return to Horrorland. Interesting. I love that little thing there. All right. <clears throat> now then, let's see if anything else changed. Well, no, not so much the decorations as I kind of figured. So, uh, you know, boo-hoo there. Um, oh yeah, you might have noticed this next day. So this is here. Uh, stay tuned for part two. I'll talk more about that. So don't worry too much about that just yet. I'll, I'll go, don't worry. I'll, I'll, I'll look down there. Don't worry. Don't worry, I'm, I'm going to take a look. I'm just trying to see other things. Can I do that? Hmm? Yeah, that's what I thought. Like, for example... Oh. No, not yet. Um. Well, hopefully they do get that fixed, apparently. That's just one of the many things that get fixed along the way. But hey, you know, patches come in and go. I don't think it's going to be as bad as the downloading thing, because uh, I think they figured that one out. So, yeah, um, I guess we'll see how that turns out. Anywho, 
Let's go ahead and look at the crafting area. Finally, right? We, we've, we've waited long enough for this to happen. Oh, hello, Goosebump logo. We want to see what this looks like. Let's see the promenade in its finest. Let's see this. Come on, load. Lo yeah, there we go. Look at that. Look at this. That's Horrorland, if I ever did see one. So let's see this here. So we got some of the stuff. Looks like some old hard carnival stuff there. And of course, we have the Doom Slide. <laughs> Pick which, which slide. There's ten to go down. Only one of them, like nine of them are basically safe, but one of them leads to, like, will slide down forever until you're pending doom. So I love how they made one of the attractions basically a uh, the crafting thing. So let's take a look at this finally. So we need cans. So we need, so yeah, so there's going to be a lot of this basically. Yeah, so we, we need the caramel. Well, technically, we really don't need that because, well, I mean, if you want to get it quick, you can. But, you know, there's that. So there you go for that. One each. All right, so no pinching. Flush there. Wow, I mean, this is... Wow, okay, so this is not too hard to get any of this stuff. It's just there if you want to get some extra. Okay. All right. Okay, I mean, that's not too bad. So this, like, this monster blob thing is going to be our main thing to get. Speaking of, we got this. Cool. Ah, so this is the horror ticket booth that they keep talking about. It finally makes sense. Oh, and uh, look, it's the happy balloon. <laughs> Isn't that funny? Look how happy that is. He's a happy guy. I digress. Anyways... Ooh! Really? Ugh. <laughs> Come on. Like, ooh. Come on, really. And yeah, you know, this was the same from last year, the whole purple stuff. But, um, you know, I thought the green looked fine. But, you know, them do them, I guess. All right, let's put the cake down. I mean, we got to see a tease of it, so we might as well put it down. This video is long enough as it is, so there you go. There's your there's your birthday cake. Happy birthday. Where's... Yeah, happy birthday, Slappy. Here's your cake. Yeah. God. Why am I complaining? I got a lot of money, but still... I'm sure a lot of people aren't happy with that fact. Oh, by the way, uh, they now drop the canisters that you can get from the other place. So, really, this is just for decoration. If you, like, want to have this, stay around because, you know, 30 years. There you go. But, um, yeah, not really needed. It's just there for fun. But what isn't is the new scene. Ho, ho, ho. Let's do that before we end the video. So let's do that, shall we? Yee, move. I want to see the new scene. Yes, uh, there it is. Oh, boy. Look at this. Keep out sign. And oh, Gil is so happy. Oh, look at these monsters. Oh, boy. There is so much. Let's see this. So it gives us the... The horror mementos, and you just need coins. So let's see this here. Five, five, a thousand. That goes to eight home. So that's eighteen thousand. So that means nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. You need twenty-one hundred coins in order to summon everybody. Not bad. Again, it could always be worse. So let's see this. We have the forearm creature. We have the vulture thing, and the three-headed cobra. Now, let's summon these guys. It gives us 90%, by the way. So, yeah. Let's go ahead and do it, shall we? Let's see this. So there's the giant monster. Yeah, I see that. But, oh, I'm so, wait, where did you come from? Where did all these people... Were they all hiding? Where, where did they come from? <laughs> they just disappeared. Well, okay, so now we see... Oh, okay, so it's a little bit wonky. Oh, yeah, definitely, uh, he's a little bit wonky. Uh, okay, cool. 
So we got the forearm monster. There he is. We got the cobra. Again, the 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 uh, they're a little <laughs> a little bit wonky. <laughs> and you thought and you thought the 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 one uh, the two um, special uh, egg monsters were were unique. Nah, these guys they like to go all over the place. <laughs> they're glitchy galore. Not the not the forearm creature though. That's fine. But the three headed cobra. Like look look at it. <laughs> Ooh, okay, cool. And then the 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 weird vulture thing that is kind of like flying around doing what, what I don't know what what in God's name this is, but uh, oh yeah, there you go, there there, there he goes. It's fun, fun indeed. I'm glad that we. It's funny that the the monsters are the weird, like they were mentioned just once in passing, and that's it. And they're like, nah. These are the monsters that we need to show off to the town. I say, yes, weird vulture creatures, three-headed cobra, and the giant monkey-looking orangutan thing, monster, whatever that. I don't know what you call that thing. What is that? I saw the 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 the, the thingy, and I'm like, oh, it looked like slam bam, but oh, what was I way off? Where did he go, by the way? How did that big thing disappear? He can't be gone far. Where did he go? There he is. Where did you go? I was looking for you. He's like some weird spider-like creature. It's weird. Like, look how weird he looks. What is this? It's abomination is what that is. All right, cool. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm ready to be done now. Um, game? Yes, I'm done now. Thank you, thank you. All done. There we go. I love what they designed here. It's so creepy. And, ooh, eight hours. So just like the last one. We could speed up to $38. No, thank you. And, um, yeah. So, yeah, that's cool. At least we got that. And I was just curiosity. Let me just look at just here just quickly. And, um, uh, oh, yes, cool. I got what I wanted. All right, fine, thank God. All right, cool, cool, indeed. So, yeah, all right, this is long enough. So I hope you enjoyed this part one. Uh, I, as I did, <laughs> I thought it was quite interesting. And uh, part two is going to be real interesting because it's going into part one again. It's going to be confusing, but... Trust me, it's not going to be that confusing, but still, just... Oh boy. I shall end part one, and I do apologize that this is uh, two mid-rolls instead of the one. I forgot that this was a lengthy boy. But hey, that means more content for you to enjoy and all that stuff and more. So, we should enjoy ourselves and see exactly what horrors we have lying in store. But we have a full month of this to enjoy, so even post-Halloween going into Thanksgiving before thanksgiving anyways so there you go so i shall see you in part two when we get to see lizzie and see more of the story of what exactly happening what what slappy might have in store for us not sure why it's slappy and not you know chiller but you know, they have the reasons so i've been griffin i'll be seeing you next time for whatever part two has in store for us for returning to Horrorland. until then hope you enjoy your stay players <laughs>